Okay, so this is tutorial number four. Few commands we'll use over here is the line, the dimension, object snaps, the layers, offset command, the units for this particular drawing is inches. Go to circles to make the circles, copy command. If we had to copy something, we could use the mirror command as well in here. We could draw half of this whole object and then mirror it. I don't think I'm going to do that, but maybe we might just use it in some place. Uh, we have trim. Any excess lines and objects need to be trimmed, so we're going to use trim for that. Erase we pretty much use for every single exercise there is. Ellipse, this is an ellipse, so we're going to be learning how to use an ellipse to draw this ellipse that you see here. And the polygon command, that's the polygon, and the center line, these are the center lines that you see. The fillet to draw these small little arcs. And the template used here again is the same. Template is tutorial I MFG you go AutoCAD new and the tutorial we've been using for most of these exercises is that one okay so now let's get on with this exercise I'm going to draw over here you gotta keep an eye and read the dimensions accordingly on the right side of your screen so the first is I always start with the the outline so the outline is 3.4 by 5.2 so I could even start with a rectangle for reference REC enter start from here and I type 3.4 comma 5.2 okay going to select it and move it down Alright, so that's done. Now I will make uh, the ellipse from this by giving, going to the ellipse command, which is right here, or I type EL, enter, specify axis endpoint, which is there. This is the second one, and this is the third one. Okay. So now my ellipse was done, it was as easy as that. I can erase my rectangle by just clicking on it and hitting delete. Now again, this is done on the wrong layer. So I make sure that I move it to the correct layer by clicking on it, selecting it, and then going to the model top, okay? So now what I will have to do is make the model top layer current. So to go to the layer panel, Either I click there or I type LA, which is exactly the same thing. I go model top, select it, and hit the tick mark, which sets the layer to current. Okay, so, so you see, right now if I draw, I'll be drawing on model top. So the next thing I'll be doing is placing my grid where I put my information. So to get the center of this circle, it is 0.6 from the top so I can draw just a line I can draw a line from from here this is just a reference line okay and I offset this with O enter 0.6 enter so I got the center of this circle okay then where else can I put some more reference first let's just finish the circle so I'm going to do the next thing is circle enter center of the circle the diameter is 0.5 D enter 0.5 enter okay so my circle is done now there's another radius over here which is point uh, let's see which is 0.6 so I can just draw the whole circle as 0.6 and then later on trim it. So circle, 
enter from the center if the radius is 0.6 how much is the diameter 1.2 now I got it wrong circle enter from the center and D enter 1.2 okay so I got the second circle now I need to get this circle this circle from the center of my ellipse is 1.2 down now where is the center of my ellipse is right there okay so I offset this 1.2 enter and found the center of my circle right here so I just make that line okay so let's put this big circle in here circle enter from the center and how big is the diameter is D enter 2.21 okay so I got that one as well now the next one is a polygon now the polygon the total is 1.2 so from the center is 0.6 so I'm going to offset O enter 0.6 enter click on the center line this direction center line this direction so these are all my reference lines which I'll be deleting later on now let's go to the polygon command now the polygon command should be over here is right there or I type in P O L now the first thing is asking me is the enter the number of sides so my sides is 6 enter specify the center of the polygon which is right there then it's asking me if it's inscribed in a circle or circumscribed I'm gonna pick circumscribed and I snap it right there to my guideline okay so now my polygon is done my circle is done I can delete those lines so it doesn't confuse me okay these lines can be deleted as well now the next thing we need to do is get these radiuses now let's look for the information if I can find this radius somewhere okay so if you look over here this radius is 2.9 and the center of this radius is right here okay so I will draw a circle enter from here and at a radius of see I'm not hitting diameter because all I need is a radius of radius of 2.9 enter okay see now I got that circle here Okay, which I would be trimming and filleting so now what I need to do is just fillet this circle with a radius of 0.2 which you see right there with this one 0.2 with this one so I go fillet F enter don't forget to put in the R enter 0.2 enter now I click on the big circle and that one see what happened there I already got this okay now I could do the same thing or I could mirror this circle onto this side now how do I mirror it I go M I spacebar select the big circle spacebar now I have to give a mirror line now the mirror line is right there in the middle so I can click anywhere on that middle line two times or two places I click one maybe over here and the second one maybe right here and so now it's already done it asked me to erase source object I hit no and enter so see I got another circle now now what I'm gonna do is the same thing fillet with this circle with the same radius 0.2 fillet radius 0.2 enter click on that circle 
click on this circle so I got that radius same thing I'm going to do with this circle the radius is 0.4 so fillet enter R enter 0.4 enter now it's this circle and the big circle enter this circle and the big circle so now I'm pretty much done all I have to do is use trim to clean up my drawing okay so I do TR enter select my whole drawing enter now I have to start trimming these lines so I don't need that one don't need this one don't need that one I will trim that line there this line so all I'm doing it with my mouse by zooming in scrolling up in my mouse to zoom in zoom out like that just a scroll button that you have trim trim then I will delete that later on I will delete this do I need this circle no I want to trim that one this one and then I just delete the rest how do I delete the rest? First I need to go escape to get out of my trim command and I E for erase and select that select this select this one that one enter so now looks like we pretty much got all that we needed from this tutorial so only thing I need to do is work with putting my center lines and my dimensions and uh, you know my radiuses for this so to put the center line I have to go to the center line layer again this is something that I created okay I'm going to I can erase this right now I don't need this anymore I'm going to draw a center line that goes from the, the center to the center that goes from the center to the center so I got my center lines that color from the center line layer now I go to the uh, the dimensions layer and I could put in the dimensions okay so what I would do go annotate put the center marks by clicking right there and clicking I think that's the oh this one we have Okay, then the last one is just the dimension, and I go put my dimensions. That's one, then that's the second dimension. Okay, I erase this. Then my radiuses. Where do I get the radius? Right here click on there put the radius click on there put this radius then I'll go get the diameter by clicking on the diameter clicking on there okay so I hope you understood how the dimension works right I have already covered that in a previous couple exercises so you use the dimensions you can always follow my dimension chapters I have two videos loaded up for dimensioning exercises so you could go and look into that so I guess that pretty much looks the same and we're pretty much done with this tutorial I'll just put another radius right here and that's that's what we have okay so I hope you followed how this tutorial worked now the tutorials that we are going to keep doing is going to get a little bit more complicated. I might not go as much as in detail I'm going right now because I still have to finish it within 15 minutes. So uh, if you don't understand just please comment. Let me know what's going on. Always please share and subscribe to my channel so we all learn from this. Okay. Thank you.